Hello everyone, welcome to one more session. Uh, today we'll be uh, talking about exploring Microsoft Azure portal features. This is a, a beginner's tutorial, so I'll be uh, showing uh, what various features we have in the new Azure portal. Stay tuned. So um, go to the um, google.com and just type Azure portal, press enter. So the first thing you'll see is the portal.azure.com, okay? Just click on it and and make sure that you already have uh, an Outlook or an MSN or Hotmail account. So use that account and uh, create a, a free sign up. And um, so once you create a free sign up, just uh, use the same logon credentials. Use your email, uh, Outlook or MSN or uh, Hotmail. Okay, just uh, click on sign in here. So this is the first look of portal.azure.com. Right, so we have a, a dashboard which shows uh, the subscriptions, okay, and uh, the existing resources and marketplace and help and support. On the left pane, it shows a list. The first one is the resource groups, all resources, recent app services virtual machines classic which is nothing but the uh, old portal virtual machines sql databases cloud services from the old classic portal security center subscription and browse and here on the on the right top corner we have settings we have notifications we have feedback we have help and support and this is our profile uh, information so the first thing I would like to see uh, what exactly it shows is it's just a hide menu option here and this drop down it's nothing you can search for any resources what we have okay so if I click on all resources I want to see what exactly it shows me in all resources it's currently it's a, it's a new test account so I don't have anything added here okay so so uh, this is how the new portal will be uh, uh, showing up. Okay, so let's create a, a, a new, I mean, a virtual machine or let, let us explore what exactly we have. Okay, and the first thing I would like to start with is uh, the subscription information. Okay, so I click on subscription and uh, currently I'm using a, a free trial. Okay, and which is active. I uh, click on the free trial and uh, it gives it shows the subscription ID and the role and uh, the offer ID um, and uh, the current billing uh, uh, period and um, if I click on uh, manage it uh, opens new page so um, and I have uh, something as history and um, I can click on here it, it gives me access so let's see what exactly showing is access so this is how where you'll add new <clears throat> co-admins so co-admin select a role owner contributor reader so these are the various new roles what they have added okay so uh, I'm just selecting and you can add a specific user or you can invite any I mean using uh, any uh, uh, any other account any user who got hotmail and outlook or uh, MSN so if I go back here free trial it shows this is my current free trial information and my billing history and everything okay but uh, this is how you will add any uh, user as a co-admin for that again I'll repeat the steps Subscriptions. Once you log on to the uh, uh, new portal, click on subscriptions. Click on your uh, free trial or a, or a pay as you go. Okay, and uh, we have settings, manage history. Click on uh, the small icon here, which is access. Okay, and click on add. Before uh, here, you have to select the role. It's an owner or a contributor reader or whatever uh, website contributor user access administrator 
or a SQL Server traffic manager. There are so many uh, uh, different uh, roles here listed. Okay, and select, and you can invite that particular user. Okay, using that email address. So this is how you will add a, a new user. And uh, so, uh, so this is our first tutorial. Okay, for the new portal. And uh, so, um, in the next tutorial, you will learn. Uh, how to create a resource group, how to create the virtual machine, how to uh, host an SQL database and everything. Okay. Thank you so much and uh, stay tuned for uh, more tutorials.